Okay, everybody, this is Mooney Dashcam. If you like my content, I'd consider checking out my Instagram. It's at Mooney Dashcam. Very active on there. All right, let's get into it. Today we are in Ozone Park. We are going to the former Silver Fox Lounge. And if, you, if you're very well versed in the mafia, you know what happened here. So in 1983, March 12th, the might, night of March 12th, but the morning of March 13th, you get what I'm saying? It was 2.20 a.m. Uh, there's a bar fly in the bar known as Elf. He was described as, in quotes, a tough Irish kid, right? He's in there. John Gotti Jr., who at the time is a Gambino captain, is in there also with his whole crew. Now, a bar scuffle breaks out. It's not clear if it was because John Gotti Jr. was talking to Elf's, whose real name is uh, Danny Silva, was talking to Danny Silva's girlfriend, or if it was one of those uh, who you looking at type of things. Because John Gotti Jr. had pretty much the power of the whole mafia behind him. So, you know, imagine how you'd act if you had the power of the whole mafia behind you. So he might have been talking to the guy's girlfriend. Whatever the case may be, bar fight breaks out. Danny Silva is 24 at the time, and John Gotti Jr. is 19. So they put a whooping on this kid. I mean, bad. Now, this testimony, what we're hearing here is testimony from a guy named Kevin Bonner. He wanted to shorten his 25-year sentence. He was in Florida, so he gave some of this info. So who knows how accurate this information is because it is from someone who was desperate. You know, you never know exactly how that goes. But this is the info that we have, really the only info that we have. So they're glass breaking, fighting back and forth. Kevin Bonner says he looks over and he sees John Gotti Jr. stabbing Danny Silva, right? And Danny Silva wasn't the only one who got stabbed. There was another guy who got stabbed in the back. Kevin Conklin. Okay, so Kevin Bonner looks over and sees John Gotti Jr. stabbing Danny Silva, the 24-year-old Danny Silva. As John Gotti Jr. is only 19, it's this storefront right there. Elegance Fashion Outlet, which I think is closed. We're gonna pull up and hop in. So this is the storefront, the former Silver Fox Bar. So, after John Gotti Jr. stabs the two people, he leaves. He comes back in the club, in the bar, shortly after. Stands over the dying Danny Silva and says, makes a joke saying, that's all folks, like Porky the Pig at the end of Looney Tunes. Um, Danny Silva dies of stabs to the chest, heart, lung, and sternum. So then after this, obviously you don't stick around. They hop in the car and they drive straight to a woman's apartment in the Lindenwood section of Howard Beach. This is the fastest way there, so we're going to assume they took this way. We don't really know. So you got to think, John Gotti Jr., 1983, at untold hours of the night, is driving this route, leaving where he just murdered somebody and stabbed another guy in the back makes a joke over the body, heads to a woman's apartment in Lindenwood. We'll speed this drive up a little bit.
people don't really consider this Howard Beach, but it technically is a part of it. Looks very different from the rest. So, it comes here from Kevin Bonner's reports, uh, from what he recalls. Um, they come here, they go to a woman's apartment, can't find the exact apartment. I don't think anyone can. I don't think it's really documented anywhere. And they sit at the kitchen table that night. And he says, he looks at John Gotti, he's a bloody mess, there's blood all over his shirt, he's all disheveled. But emotionally, he's stone cold, like he didn't just kill somebody. Kind of crazy, if you think of it. And then how the story goes is that John Gotti Sr. paid off an NYPD detective $10,000, which would be $27,000 today, to take the heat off his son was the main suspect. A lot of people were able to say that he was there that night. It ended up that, oh, then John Gotti Jr. goes into hiding, of course. Mark Caputo, Caputo, his bodyguard, ended up taking the rap, but he was released because um, new evidence came up and he was let out of jail for that. Now, another person who talked on this um, crime was John... Sanamo, Sanamo, C E N N A M O. Uh, he came to an untimely death. I'll leave it at that. That's a story for another video. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. That is everything I have to tell you about this stabbing that John Gotti Jr. did in Ozone Park at the Silver Fox Bar.